The rivers of the North Carolina Piedmont offer a rich and beautiful environment. And, if you know where to look, they are teeming with life of all types. So today I'm here at the Noose River. It's a wonderful April day. Out here doing some herping. Um, it's been an awesome, awesome day. We found quite a few animals so far. Uh, but these two animals in particular I want to highlight are these two animals. They're very easily mistaken for one another. Sternothorus odoratus, or stink puck, or common musk turtle, or Kinosterdon subrubrum, or common mud turtle. So as you can see, at first glance they look pretty similar. They both have the dome shells. They're similar in size. Neither of them will grow much larger than this. Um, this is about full size. They might get a little bit bigger, but this is about full size. Uh, but there are some definite differences. Ooh. Yes, yeah, I can smell you. You made a stink, didn't you? So first, we can talk about the shell. The back of the uh, musk turtle, it's smooth up near the front, and then it gets keeled at the back, which basically means there's just a ridge kind of along the spine. And that's just down the whole shell. There's just one ridge. All the scales are smooth themselves, but there's this ridge down the whole shell. As opposed to the mud turtle, there's no ridge whatsoever. It's actually very flat on top, and then it sharply curves down. But there's no ridge whatsoever. Very flat, very smooth, all the way across. Next, we can talk about their stomachs real quick here. As you can see, the plastron on the musk turtle is much smaller than that of the mud turtle. The common musk turtle has uh, one hinge right there, sort of like a box turtle. It just doesn't close all the way. It has one hinge on the shell right there, um, right at that edge of the plastron and into the, up near the head as opposed to the musk turtle, which is wider, but it also has two hinges. One hinge there, and one hinge there. And both of these hinges don't do too much, they're just kind of there, they provide a little bit of more mobility, but they don't do a whole lot. But that is a way to tell the two apart when you're looking at their flash fronts. Uh, moving on to the heads, you can't see this one's head too much, it's not sticking it out as much as I'd like him to. But the musk turtle has barbels all along the neck and along the chin, these kind of like little nub things, uh, as opposed to the mud turtle, who was sticking his head out a moment ago, uh, they don't have any barbels at all. Ouch! Ow! That guy packs a punch! Well, I hope that kind of uh, educated you guys, kind of taught you how to tell the difference between a mud and musk turtle if you were curious, or if you were just a subscriber watching the video. Hope you enjoyed enjoying the video. Um, but these guys are going to go back into the wild now and keep on doing musky and muddy turtle things. So we'll go ahead and let them go. Mud turtles and musk turtles are some of the most unique turtle species along the eastern coast of the United States. And next time you are at a river or a small pond, make sure to keep your eyes out for one. You never know what you might see. And now, this. Um, uh, just had lunch. And I was a dummy and forgot to have my, uh, delicious jalapeno salsa with my, uh, breakfast burrito. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. Um, but, uh, you can't let it go to waste, now can you? So I'm just gonna down this. And, we're environmentally uh, friendly. Yeah, you gotta you gotta watch your food waste. A lot of food goes to waste, and it's a waste. I'm regretting this already. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh man, it's getting spicy now. The whole thing is kicking in. Oh man, he's drinking from his boxed water. His boxed water. Apparently. <laughs> Boxed water is better. Also, hashtag not sponsored. You can sponsor us though. If you want to, Boxed Water. Looking for sponsors. Anyone out there want to sponsor us? I know you're watching this, Boxed Water. Ready. 